Outside Dar el Hijra Mosque in Falls Church, Virginia, volunteers are hard at work. Water registration. They're helping a coalition of Muslim American groups register a million new Muslim voters before the November presidential election. The coalition isn't telling Muslims whom to vote for, but the effort is designed to keep Republican nominee Donald Trump out of the White House as Muslim American voters galvanize against what they say is his anti-Muslim bigotry, like calling for a ban on Muslims entering the U.S. This is your first time registering, correct? Yeah. Sadat Najmi says he's been a U.S. citizen for nearly 30 years, but this is the first time he's registering to vote, because, he says, Trump is simply against most people, especially Muslims. Oh, I feel so great. This is my, I, I, I mean, I was thinking quite a long time to register. But mm, this time, especially when the Trump and against Hillary, this time I, I'm really uh, believe that I have to. The coalition is canvassing mosques, colleges, bus stations, and gas stations in U.S. cities with Muslim populations. Nihad Awad heads the Council on American Islamic Relations, a key member of the coalition, and he thinks if mobilized, Muslims can play a crucial role as swing voters. About 122 million Americans vo vote, uh, 60 million on one side and the other 60 million on the other side, they cancel each other. The one who makes the difference is the minority votes. American Muslims can potentially play that role. But Republican Muslim Americans who back Trump say they're trying to build their own coalitions in swing states. They want to educate Muslims that the man accused of anti-Muslim bias has the strongest foreign policy plan to tackle the biggest threat to Muslims everywhere, radical Islam. Sajid Tarar launched American Muslims for Trump and also sits on the National Diversity Coalition for Trump, or the NDC, which tries to mobilize minority support for Trump. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, or Taliban, they have killed more Muslims than anything else. And that, that's, that's, the, that's the message Muslims need to hear and understand and to see the value of strong leadership. And that's what the Donald Trump is. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. The Trump campaign says every vote is important to Mr. Trump, including those of Muslim Americans. It says it's confident these new and previously registered Muslim voters will choose Trump because they too are angered by radical Islam and want someone who can fix the economy. Still, a Gallup poll from May suggests only 17% of Muslim Americans have a favorable opinion of Trump. Organizers of the One Million Voter Registration Drive believe this is the largest such campaign ever among the Muslim American community and have already registered hundreds of thousands of new voters. Osama Abu Irshad is with the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations, which launched the campaign. We want the Muslim community to understand that if you, if you give up your rights voluntarily, no one will come and give them back to you. And there are those forces of hate in this country who would love to rob, rob Muslims of their rights. So we should fight for our rights, and the only way to fight for your rights is from within the system. A system he and his supporters hope will deny Donald Trump the presidency in November.